Saúl, habla de esta gira y de esta pelea ante Jacobs. No, pues la gira ha sido muy, muy buena. Eh, Nueva York, México, ahora aquí. Nos han tratado muy bien, muy agradecido con toda la gente. Y pues todos ya sabemos que va a ser una pelea, va a ser una pelea complicada, va a ser una pelea difícil, pero eh, estamos listos para darle al público una gran pelea. It's been a great tour. New York, then Mexico City. Jacobs um, is great. You know, the chemistry's been good, back and forth, and... You know what? Now it's time to get ready and train hard and give the fans a great fight. Canelo, dice Jacobs que que quiere enfocarse un poco en los jueces de Nevada. ¿Crees que eso es un mensaje de que a lo mejor está esperando que haya un favoritismo? No, está esperando que lo no quiera. Yo creo que eso es lo que quiere. Entonces no me no me no me genera nada en absoluto. Creo que eh, voy a hacer mi trabajo como siempre cada quien hace su trabajo y esta no va a ser la excepción the question was about the judges in Vegas and Canelo said look uh, he's probably looking for me to knock him out I'm not worried about what he's saying I'm worried about what I gotta do and train and prepare myself to what I'm gonna do and that, this is not gonna be an exception Canelo. what do you like about the match at last Canelo? no, pues es, son, son los dos mejores eh, peleadores en la 160 ahorita esa es la verdad y, y es campeón mundial un gran peleador y obviamente hacer las peleadas el mejor contra el mejor siempre es sorprendente. With the two best fighters in the division, he's a world champion and always when you put the best against the best, it's going to give great fights. And that's my objective at the end of the day to fight the best. Canelo, uh, because because of Jacobs' height and uh, his ability to move and things like that, are you going to be looking to fight in the style you've been fighting in lately where you're, you're trying to get in close and, and make the exchanges happen and things like that. Sí, obviamente esa va a ser la, la estrategia. No, no sabemos qué realmente va, va, va a poner sobre la mesa el día de la pelea, pero ese es el, eh, la estrategia. No ir hacia el frente eh, con inteligencia, meternos a su guardia para poder meter nuestra combinación. Yes, that's the strategy to get inside of his guard, of his reach, and put in our, you know, get our combinations off, but. At the end of the day, you don't know how a fight unfolds, so we got to be ready for anything. Now, with your winner, we're going to go off and your ability to fight in different styles. Do you think you've proven that you're the best fighter for pounds? Can you repeat that? After you went over to Lofton and also his, your ability to fight in different styles, do you think that you've proven that you're the best fighter for pounds? Realmente. Mira, puedo pelear de diferentes estilos y depende lo que me lo que me lo, lo que me muestre el rival, si ajustar, si improvisar y, y el ser o no ser el, 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 para para los que ponen ahí realmente no sé quién no es el que ponga la lista de los mejor libra por libra el ser o no ser realmente no me no me, no me genera nada no eh, ninguna emoción ni decepción eso para mí es eh, Tal margen, yo hago mis peleas y trato de hacer las mejores para que la gente le guste. Yo sé cómo me, cómo me catalogo, cómo me considero y eso es importante. Look, I adapt to all styles. I fought in the past, I fought all the different styles. Uh, I improvise. I have to improvise once I get in there and adapt. Whether they put me as number one, whether they put me as number three, look, I don't know who's writing that or the next, you know, whoever's writing it, who is he? My important thing for me is my fans. My people that support me and me personally. Can I be asking now heading to the zone? Do you feel like he's doing so to chase that third fight with you? That's for sure. When Danny was here, he's uh, he talked about the Mexican style being coming for, and he said the Brooklyn style is very similar. How would you categorize Danny Jacobs' style? Fighter of my level, of my experience, has to be able to adapt 
can fight these type of fights and give the fans the best fight time. When he studies Triple G's fight against Jacobs, what do you think, what does he think is his biggest weakness uh, when he comes fight him? No, mira, es un rival muy difícil. Obviamente de ver sus debilidades, porque es un peleador muy completo. Que piensa, que sabe manejar eh, adelante a sus dos guardias. Es muy inteligente, ¿no? Pero obviamente lo vamos a descubrir durante todo el entrenamiento. Eddie, Eddie sabe qué es lo que vamos a hacer y you know he's a fighter that watching a video it's very difficult to find a weakness because he's a very complete fighter a very intelligent fighter that knows how to make changes in the dam but that's where I leave it up to Eddie uh, to my team so they can you know see that and bring it out and I just have to listen and adapt once we're in the ring. and when Daniel was here earlier he said he actually likes Canelo which is probably different than the sentiment he and Triple G had leading up to the build up of the last fight. How does he feel towards the No, igualmente, igualmente creo que no es no, and likewise, likewise, I, I, I have nothing against him, uh, he's a great person, uh, you know, once we're in the ring it's different, I gotta do what I have to do with it, that's very different, but as a person he's a great person. Oscar, Oscar said that some great fighters fight for money and some great fighters like Canelo fight for legacies. When it comes to so like selecting your fights, how do you decide like this is the fight that I want because I'm thinking about my legacy? Or that's a what? Porque eh, en esta ocasión eh, Jacob dice que tiene este cinturón y, y Eddie quiso que quiere que sea eh, el único campeón unificado de los cuatro organismos eh, mexicanos de la historia, así que ese es el primer objetivo y es por eso que decidimos esta pelea, esté quien esté, esté quien esté, tocó que estuviera Jacob, es una pelea complicada. Pero no importa, lo importante es hacer historia. Yo pude haber peleado con cualquier otro, ¿no? pero lo importante aquí para nosotros es hacer las mejores peleas y, y hacer historia. No, oh, the important thing is for me is to fight the best always, right? And in this case, Daniel Jacobs has a belt. Eddie early on said, look, I want you to become the first Mexican world champion in history to have all the belts. Jacobs has the IBF belt, so he's in turn now. And there's a scenario too, I mean, the not the not block can be your next opponent in September. If he comes back by throw out, do you want is that what you want? Sí, quien esté, quien esté de campeón, ese Yes, whoever the champion is. That's the objective, to win the belts. So it doesn't matter who has it. Yo know, cuando tienes a una persona como Jacobs que venció el cáncer. Fighters and known and remembered as a fighter who fought everybody. 
Canelo. 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 Last question. Last question. It's been two Canelo. years. It's been two years since you fought on Cinco de Mayo. Um, is that a little added excitement for you personally? Sí, es una gran motivación, una gran motivación para mí, una gran responsabilidad también, pero es, eh, es, es un orgullo para mí representar a México en estas fechas. Yes, it's very, very special for me. It's a great honor for me with a lot of responsibility. I take it because it, there's a lot of responsibility on that, but it's a very, it's a proud moment to be able to represent my country and my people on these dates that are so special for us. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.